Hi all, my name is Vira Ravi. Uh, here I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu in Windows using VirtualBox. Okay, for that to install Ubuntu in a Windows machine using VirtualBox, the uh, the prerequisite is you should have uh, a VirtualBox is downloaded and installed in your Windows machine. It looks like this, and uh, you should have the ISO file Ubuntu ISO file should be downloaded should be downloaded in your machine right and the prerequisite is like your machine should have a more than 4 GB RAM so 4 GB also will work but if it is of more than 4 GB it, it gives you a better performance so it is recommended to have more than 4 GB RAM in your machine right so in my machine I have a uh, in my machine I have more than 16 GB RAM I mean I have 16 GB RAM I can say in that so I have 16 GB RAM so I'm going to install a virtual box in Windows using virtual box. I'm, I'm installing Ubuntu using virtual box. So let's see how to do it. So first we need to check where is our ISO file. Okay, let's go here. So first you need to download ISO file. So from where we can download ISO file. So let's see that first. Go to Google. Ubuntu 16. Dot, there is a latest version 16.4 is there now. So you can go to this link. Go back. Take go directly go to download page. Okay. Here you can download by using this this you can download it and also if you see the prerequisites before down so when you're downloading the people are surprising by they will not go down so you have to go down and they'll be saying that you uh, know donate something but if you go down so you no need to don donate if you are willing to donate if you're willing to contribute something you can go ahead and pay or if you're not you can you know take to the download page All right and it will start downloading Okay, it will start downloading. That that uh, ISO file will be a more than it will be a more than one GB, right? It will be more than one point five GB of uh, you know in size. So if you see, if you go back, the prerequisites for that. If you go back here, if you look at, it's asking two gigahertz dual core process and it should be two GB memory and twenty five GB free space, right? So this is the minimum requirement for your. It is minimum requirement for your. Ubuntu installation, right? So first we need to make sure that we need to make sure that in our machine we have that much space available. So let's go Okay, you need to check it here. So in my case, it is totally full because uh, I'm using multiple things here So uh, my RAM also is 16 GB and I'm going to install now Ubuntu so for installing Ubuntu using a uh, uh, VM player, you no need to have any specific partition for it. Okay, you no need to be having an empty partition or empty drive for it. You can directly go ahead and install on, you know, uh, uh, your machine. It will it will virtually allocate the space. Uh, virtual in the sense it will dynamically allocate the space. So that we will see in a in a moment. So now you need to start your virtual box. You need to start your virtual box. So in my case, it's already the virtual box is running. So let me stop it. So I don't need it to run for some time. Let me check before that. Uh, before stopping, do I have anything here to unsave or save? Let's save this. Okay. So let me close this, and let me close all the windows from here. Okay, something is going wrong here. Not a problem. You can see. Just check and close this as well. Close all. You can also stop the services here. You guys no need to do this because so you can skip this part because I'm, you know, uh, I have already uh, the virtual machine is running. So I want. I just want to stop it. Okay. Yep. 
so you can go ahead here you can say stop so what will happen the whatever is virtual box are running all are stopped now as soon as you or run the virtual box you will be having empty list you will not be having anything here because you are going to do a fresh setup so there you click on the new click on new and you give the name here you can give a name there and select the what type of instance you are going to install so that is linux box right so so I'm going to select a Linux box here. I'm selecting Ubuntu 64. Guys, there is a one precondition here. So in your machine, in your machine, the virtualization technology there is called virtual technology should be enabled in your BIOS, right? So if it is not enabled, even though if its machine is 64 bit, this will not be shown to you. This will not be shown to you 64 bit. It will be showing you only 32 bit. It will not be showing you to 64 bit because the virtual technology is not enabled in your machine. If you, even though your machine is 64 bit, but it is not listing out the 64 bit, it means in your machine, virtual technology is not enabled. How to enable virtual technology? We will see in other video. So you have to log into your BIOS. In, in the BIOS, you have to go to the virtual technology. There you need to enable. So as simple as that. Now, then just continue. In my case, the virtual technology is enabled. So that's why I'm able to create virtual boxes. Go next. So in this case, so how much RAM you want to give? I have a 16 GB RAM. So here I'll, I'm going to give 8 GB. So I'm going to give 8 GB or I'm going to give 10 GB. I'm going to give 10 GB. So you can give. So if you have a 4 GB, try to give off of the memory but here I'm giving 10 GB next create a virtual disk now we're going to create a new virtual disk we are not making use existing one we are creating a new one right let's create and the VDI virtual dog virtual box disk image we are going to create a virtual box disk image right so next and the size it will be allocated dynamically the size it is allocating dynamically you can say next and here how much how much space you want to allocate for this hard disk space how much hard disk space you have you want to allocate for your Ubuntu machine so I have given 40 GB but if you have a more space you can go ahead and give more space here then create then create after creating this after creating this we will install the Ubuntu so to install it select that you can double click or you can go and click on the start you can go and click on the start so it is going to start and it is asking you to select the ISO file select the ISO file which you have which you need to install in your machine so in my case I'm going to select the ISO file from my location is different and your, your, in your case the location may be different okay in my case the difference is this the location is this and I have something called um, ISO images I'm going to select this I'm going to select this because you may surprise we have downloaded a separate version but the download will take some time so I'm making use of the existing one for the this session okay so open it start start what it will do it will try to install ubuntu on machine now it will try to install ubuntu on your machine it will take some time you can just stop it So it will take some time. So, so it will come this screen. You will get this kind of screen once it is started process. You will it will you will get this screen to install it. Okay. So here you need to say install Ubuntu. Install Ubuntu. We are installing Ubuntu here. So the language and so if you are connected to internet, you can say download updates while installing Ubuntu and install third party software if you want any hardware and this, this, this things. If you are connected to internet, if you are not connected to internet, you no need to select these two. You can just continue. It 
is loading and you select the erase disk and install ubuntu so by seeing this people will be surprised saying that it may delete your data no it will not delete any existing data it will just create what are the folder you have selected what are the folder you have selected the, by default the folder will be in in your c drive the default location i'm talking about here users and my user in that my user there is something called virtual box vms in that it will be created here so in this directory if it's anything is there it will be cleared and it will be installed but this is what we need it so can wait when it is getting created there so you can say install now and yes just say continue guys it will take 15 to 20 minutes of time to install completely so it will it will ask you to give uh, username password and it will ask you to select your region it will ask you to select the you know if you time zone if you want so all these things we are going to do in and for this uh, slides so you will get this screen okay it will be asking you to select your region by default it is selecting kolkata fine so let's go with next screen and you can select english and what is your keyboard so here you can make it as a bigger screen and continue this continue this and it's asking for the name if you want to give what are the name you want to give you can give a name i'm giving here vera ravi but my computer name i don't want like this my computer name let it be spark spark i'll say spark one and and you can choose your password you can choose what other password you want okay let it be very simple okay so you can remember later okay login automatically or login required so while you were logging into machine you might have seen my before screen when i log into the that virtual machine to ask me to enter the password like your username and password to enter into the machine let's continue it will start copy the, all the files so you will be seeing the pro it's getting processed
it will take a quite a good amount of time if you see here 37 out of 80, 87 has to be changed so it is retrieving those many files so it will take quite a amount of time 